G'day guys, my name is PWCT and welcome to Steel Ocean. This is a, a, a naval warship game, sort of like uh, World of Warships, is it called? World of, War World of Warships, I believe. Um, in the way that you steer around a boat and you destroy the other team. But this one, I feel like the graphics are slightly less than World of Warships, but it's so much better in the actual gameplay, like... For the game, it's a lot more interesting to fight with than World of Warships. Like, I did play that one for probably only about 30 minutes. And I like this one so much better because it's actually a lot harder to hit them. And, like, you've got to take into account all the other aspects as well. So, this is the Florida ship. It's a battle class, battleship um, class. And then you've got the little destroyers, which we can zoom in a little bit. Oh, it even, this just looks nice. I don't know how historically accurate it is, but it looks nice. Uh, the Repulse is a downloadable ship, which is just a battle class cruiser. And it's... it's alright. Or is it a carrier? No, it's a battle clip, battleship. Uh, Farragut is a... Second class destroyer. Second level destroyer. So the Minekazi was is the first one and the RR class. They're the first two ships you start out with. And then you slowly progress into submarines, um, better destroyers, and then I think you get battleships as well. If we go to the tech tree, I'll just show you this quickly before we get into the gameplay. So you have the different um, uh, factions you would call them. Um, and you've got all the different destroyers in there. So I'm progressing through the American one. Because someone... I, I read an article somewhere that it said this is the best one to go for when you're just starting out, when you're getting to know the game. And so you can see there are all the battleships along the bottom, of which there's... Oh. Which there's quite a lot of choice. But as you go out, you collect uh, XP points and silver points. The silver is you buy stuff. So if I want to research this, I can use the ship uh, EXP and the global XP, which you get when you win a battle. But anyway, let, let's get into a battle and show you what this is like. I'm going to go with the uh, Mahan. Yeah, I think I'll go with this first. Alright, so we can see the people that we're playing with. Uh, I haven't found anyone who's nice enough to let me join their their crew. But that's alright. Which way are we heading? Oh, we're heading that way. Okay, that's weird. We should be going over that way. Why are we not pointed towards the islands? <laughs> we have to go through the islands. Oh, I guess you could go around. Uh, if I remember there was a button. There we go. So you can go around that way. Um, now I do remember that there's two ways of firing this. Uh, of steering it. You can use the WASD keys. But if you want to... Oh, what is the thing? Is it R? Yeah, if you double click R, then you can take your hands off the keys. And the same thing with the F key. No, R and F go up and down. That's fine. So I'm actually going to slow down. And so I'm going to keep on this Wyoming guy to try to. Um, protect him against any destroyers because I was I was reading up on an article a while back when I used to play this all the time um, destroyers are pretty much scouts you want to get into the battle but you um, and see where everything else and then the battleships can destroy them but you don't want to go out on your own because you can die really really quickly to a battleship um, I'll just show off the guns here 
So there's a little bit of a delay before it actually hits, so you have to account for that every time you fire. And also on the bigger ships, it takes longer for the guns to actually move around, so you've got to like slow down. And there's all these different like strategical, strategical movements and methods you can use to like lure someone in. Okay, so they're they're both going to go in. They are. Uh, destroyers, I think. Are they? No, they're all battleships, I think. No, that can't be right. So I'm the only destroyer. Oh, god damn it. So I need to go and scout then. Because, yeah, I'm a lot faster than they are, so I need to make sure that I get out there and see where all the enemies are so that they can use their long range guns and take them out. And the reason I don't play this a whole lot anymore is because they tend to... Uh, a lot of new people tend to start and then they don't know what ship they should use to fire. Oh, I hit him. So I'm going to start firing all my torpedoes over that direction. But I also don't want to get stuck. Oh, that's too far. Yeah, it's way over. See, now I'm stuck because I can't... I can't get around in this area too quickly. Whereas I do need to be over there so that I can get my torpedoes off. Because that's the other thing that uh, destroyers need to do in this game is get up close to a destroyer and take it out without getting into battles with other destroyers which they only have one as well they've got three battleships so I'm really going to be the target here early on So you want to get them on the side so you can get your torpedoes off. It's so much fun just lining up the shots. I see. I need to get rid of that guy because he is going to wreck my Wyoming over there. Which the Wyoming is one step up from the one I was showing. I think. I think. I can't be too sure because I... Yeah, haven't played this in a long time. So lead the shot a little bit. Fire. Oh, perfect. No, stay out the way of the Wyoming. I'm coming to help you. So you can slow down, you get a better aim on your shots. But it's not as. Ah, oh, see, he's too fast. And now I'm gonna get hit by that torpedo. That is not good. Oh, single shot takes me out. So, this is the problem. If you go in and try to attack destroyers yourself early on as a noob, it's very difficult to, uh, to get anywhere. But the advantage of this game is that you don't have to stick around in the game. If you die, you can just move on to a new game. And you can see what all the other people are doing. This guy is sort of going around the back to try to s scout out some more. Because, yeah, now they've lost their only scout. So... They're going to be in a little bit of trouble because this destroyer can actually get, like, if he strafes around everywhere or um, zigzags around, he can get around their their artillery. So I assume he's going to be trying to get that guy, which can do a fair amount of damage. So it's not like he's going to have a difficult time, but he doesn't have any torpedoes. And this guy can quickly scoot around and hit people 
with the torpedoes. See, now he's screwed. He's going to have to get hit by one or three. But this guy should change his secondary guns. Yes, he has. That's good. They don't work that close, dude. And now he's in between two destroyers. Between two battleships. He's kind of... He's done for. <laughs> yeah, this is why I like this game. Let's get into another battle. The target number of kills. 11? Oh, between all of us. Well, that's not going to happen, seeing as there's only... Uh, seven. Ah, it's Q and E to do the... Um, the turning. So if you wanted to do loops of a certain area, you can just set your turning on 180 degrees right or something and have it on half speed and it will just continue to loop that area. You wouldn't be able to shoot anything because your turrets have to move at an equal rate of turn. Oh, and to, um... God damn it. To stop the... To stop all of that, you just press, like, the speed keys or the turn keys, whichever is appropriate. Right, so which way do I want to be going? I actually want to be going around that side. Because the battleships can't turn very fast and they can't go very fast either. So you don't want to be going into the middle of all the islands where you can't manoeuvre very easily. You want to go around the outsides and then wait for your destroyers to show up the enemy ships. Bagley is saying more power. What do you mean? Like, we all go in there and we all die at the same time? And the cool thing with these things, the battleships, though, is you can do eagle eye view and you can actually fire all the way out there. Like, if you see on the map down there, it's on that circle. Oh, God, he's coming in quick, isn't he? So if I slow down a little bit, I can get a much better aim. That's nowhere near. And it takes a long time for the... Um... Oh! It takes a long time for the guns to reload. Okay, that's one down. We haven't seen the rest of them yet. Oh, no. Look out. Torpedo! oh nice work, dude. Oh, thank God. I was going to say... That would wreck me. Oh, and there's another destroyer. No, that's a battleship. So at the same time, this is cool because it has... Um, there's a lot of information you can find out about all the different ship classes. And uh, they tend to be... Not super accurate, but... Like, it's cool to see that these were the ships that they used in uh, World War Two. I'm going to have to say, but I'm not sure. I don't know. I, history was not one of my strong points. So I can see this guy over here, but I can't aim because the thing is in the way. So I'm going to have to go for these ones. These guys. I'm actually going to turn away. So that I can bear my broadside to him. But 
but yeah, these these things you definitely need to take out first. Okay, I'm now pointed completely away. That was not a good move. But I've still got two guns that will shoot this side. So if I go... He's turning. He's following. That's fine. Oh, so close. So he knows about the whole... Whoop, what am I doing? I'm about to crash into someone. See if I can outrun. Oh, what are you doing, Florida? You just hit me. So I can't really get this guy yet. I'm gonna go for. Uh, they're a bit far, aren't they? Oh no. And seeing as he is sitting there doing nothing, I'm gonna slow down so I get a perfect shot. Fire! Boom! Sucker! And I might... Uh, and this... This does have two separate guns. So I could probably use these ones to take out this guy. Knowing that they keep going off of those smoke grenade things. Because it means I can't see where he is. And I really would like to. Because he's annoying me. Get away from my battleships. Okay, sorted. Back to my artillery. Slow down to uh, 8 knots. 7 knots. Six, five, nice and slow. Fire! Taken. That is outside shot range. By how much? Can't be that much. There we go. You can't escape. They got so many ships. I suppose we do as well, but... Let's uh, thread the needle through here and see what we can see. Because the only issue now is that there's all of our guys on the other side and we can't protect them. Because they're going too fast. Oh, beca well, because the things are in the way. Mountains. But I might be able to... It's almost within range. As soon as it is in range... Fire. Critical hit. Oh, I, I even hit him. Awesome. Oh, nice. Wait, so we only destroyed three of them? Or do they keep coming back? They must have kept coming back. That makes sense. Yeah. Well, that's basically the game. Um, I don't know how long... I mean, I've cut out their loading times, but... Do you think we have time for one more? Um, probably not. Next time, we'll check out the submarine and how you can... Uh, 
how can you use that to sort of get into their side and take them out, take out some of their bigger battleships. So it's a bit more of a stealth sort of ship. But anyway, thank you all for watching. I hope to see you next time. Please leave a comment if you like this game, you want me to do this again. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye! Jesus, why are these not working? That is a lot of them. That is a hell of a lot of them. Ow. Uh.